Welcome back to the Soulful Afro Show with Miss Yvette, right here live on AfricanRadioOnline.com, Miss Yvette. So I wanted to start off with Frederick Douglass' words, and, and then I'm going to also now read um, the declaration from the diaspora, which included uh, Brandy Waters and myself at the first summit of Afro-descendant women leaders of the Americas. And this is part of what we wrote. In the diaspora, the Afro-descendant community is facing a crisis that is attacking our being, our body, our mind, our identity. One focus we will prioritize is the first, combating racism is everyone's responsibility. We want to name the reality facing people of African descent that is not only a lack of diversity, but racism. Today, we in the diaspora use the phrase, Black Girls Lives Matter, or is life of a black youth has value. It is motivate, motivate, modification, modification of the popular phrase, black lives matter and why. That so far we have not recognized that abuses suffered by black men also affect black women. This is not only against the African American community in the United States, but against all people of African descent living in the diaspora. No matter country of birth, language, or, or whether it be a child or adult, Today, we declare the names of the black girls who are forgotten when we think of racism. So that was part of our statement of our declaration when we described what our work plan would be for the diaspora in the next five years before we meet again from the first summit of women of African descent. And what an amazing experience it was. What a truly, truly amazing experience 250 plus women from all over the Spanish speaking Americas, including Haiti, coming together with a common theme to address the lack of exclusion, political involvement, as access to education, access to help that we now face in our individual countries and is a common theme wherever we stand. Um, we came together, this was brought together by the network of Afro, Latin American, Afro-Caribbean and diaspora women led by the wonderful, amazing, what is truly a visual and a description of a real leader and African queen, Dorotea Wilson from Nicaragua. We came together and supported each other on a different uh, different things. One of our support is towards the women of Haiti and towards Haiti as a whole. And I'll read you part of that statement is that we are supporting not only the, the Haitian community as a whole, but the, the lack of support towards the Haitian people. Um, and we took a position on this that is basically saying that um, we are asking to support and be part of uh, the betterment of Haiti. And that to me was a really important moment in the, in the summit, that we take a position with what is happening with the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and it is about they are Dominicans, but also the, to address the anti-Haitianism that is now happening in the Dominican Republic and even as we speak in the Bahamas and that we support the Haitian community um, and we stand with the Haitian community. Liz Marie, uh, our, our sister from Haiti, read the statement um, and we support that. So please visit the Soulful Afro with Yvette page and read more of this statement and this position that the Red de Mujeres Afro, the Cumbre de Mujeres Afro has taken in support of Haiti and the women of Haiti. The next piece of the, 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 the summit that was very important was in support of black women in Brazil. Uh, and the black women in Brazil, Brazil has been facing a high level of exclusion, a high level of inequality. There has been just as many killing of black men even to a certain extent more in Brazil than we have had here in this country. But what, like we said in our statement, 
we are not recognizing that black women are also being attacked and killed and excluded. So on November 18th, the women from Brazil will be planning a, mar a march, marcha, mujeres negras de Brazil. And we are also in support of that. So you can also visit the Soulful Afro with Yvette page to get more information. One of the, the touching things about the summit was we hear of black communities in Panama, where I'm from, even though people still seem surprised. We hear of the Dominican Republic, we hear of Haiti, we hear of um, Brazil, because it's literally the outside of, of Nigeria, it's the largest community. We hear of even Colombia. What was very moving was to see sisters from Argentina, sisters from Chile, and sisters from Mexico come together, and a sister from El Salvador. And these are countries that tend to be, well, Argentina, they tend to think it's more European. And then to see the sisters show up in great numbers. And they had this wonderful um, theater act that showed all that they have to go through uh, when they get asked where they're from. And everybody always assumes that they are immigrants and not natural born Afro-Argentinians. And the sisters from Chile, who are predominantly from this part of Chile that's called Arik Arikia, um, uh, spoke very openly about being excluded and, and they're not included in the political platform. So for them, it was almost like a coming out party. And then we have the sisters from Mexico who came together. Um, and they, they went as far as just you could see the joy in their faces, the, the pain that they have gone through of exclusion. And then to be able to, for three days, move in your, their full self um, was a wonderful experience. And, you know, I, I shared a lot of pictures. If folks want to see a lot more of the pictures from the event on the, on the Soul Palafra show and to go visit uh, the page and you will see that for three days, for, for some of us, we were there longer. I was there longer as one of the as the coordinator of the diaspora. But to see women moving, including myself, in our full light, in our full self, with not having to exclude any part of who we are is truly a blessing. And I congratulate the planners, all the women who came with a common theme, with a common agenda, with a common sense of unity and love. And out of that, actually, the diaspora delegation created a new hashtag. So you will be seeing that hashtag a lot. And it's Black Women United, the B capital, the W capital, and the U capital. Black Women United. And we want folks to use that every time we're talking about a common theme, a common coming together, because we need more of that. We need to, thinking of uh, Frederick Douglass' words, is that thoughts expressed on one side of the Atlantic are distinctly heard on the other. And the issue of lives matter, black girls' lives matter, black, black lives matter, is being heard all over. Brandy and I wore our t-shirts on the third day of the conference, and it was grounding because you could see that people knew exactly what it meant and what we were talking about. So I am truly proud and honored and feeling blessed that I was part of this historic experience of the first summit of women of African descent, 250 plus women coming together, creating a common agenda um, with a common outcome, which is to be seen in our full human light. So I'm gonna take another break and we'll be right back with some of the latest out, um, headlines um, talking about the church burning, Misty Copeland, which is a wonderful thing, and Donald Trump. Because, you know, we, we don't want to give him enough too much time, but we do need to address some of the things that he's saying. So we will be right back. 